and as the Duval County School Board considers renaming the schools, six different schools over the, their connections to Confederate soldiers and generals, some alum of those schools think it's not a good idea. On your side, Robert Bradfield spoke with a graduate about, of Robert E. Lee High School about why he thinks the name should stay as it is. His school pride and spirit runs deep. Robert Lawrence is an alum of Robert E. Lee High School, class of 1980. When we think back, people say, where'd you go to school? You went to Robert E. Lee High School. During his senior year, Lawrence was the school's mascot, the general, often appearing at football games. And even after graduation, he says he always felt a sense of accomplishment from where he went to school. I have a rich history of uh, graduates from there who've gone on to do a lot of good things in the community and, 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 and more. Which might explain why Lawrence does not want to see the school's name changed. Nothing illustrates more, in my opinion, how far we've come as a society when it comes to the race issue. When you can have a school named after a Confederate general who fought for slavery that is now educating descendants of these slaves. Lawrence says he and other alumni plan to urge the school board to keep the name as is. The process to consider any name change will likely start in the fall, according to the superintendent. There will definitely be a movement to prevent that from happening, you know, uh, and it could be a very strong movement. Robert Bradfield, First Coast News, on your side.